Nice. Let's see if I can get this up here. All right, let me share my screen. And can you swirl again? That must be your brother. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Come on, thing. All right. Wait a second. That's not how you spell candy swirl. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way he spelled it. <laughs> yes. It's, it's supposed to be candy swirl, not candy swirl. <laughs> <laughs> I keep hell? saying that and he keeps laughing like every time when Look, I'm it's candy swirl. <laughs> candy swirl. <laughs> nah. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's seven now. I'm gonna uh open up with prayer. Um, Father, we just thank you for the night. We thank you for your ever presence in our life. We thank you, Lord, that you are Lord and you reign. And so as we come in your presence to learn more about who we are in you and our senses mm -hmm. and how to exercise and use our senses, uh, we ask that the Holy Spirit would uh, open up our, our, our minds that we would understand in the spirit realm and catch on to the mechanisms, uh, the mechanics of how to use and exercise our senses. So have your way in this session and we give thanks to you. So be it. So be it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think I forgot to turn on, turn on my... I can hear you. Not the microphone, but the, the audio. <laughs> it's a glow. Well, you gotta turn it up. And also, Uriah, I noticed that the window, it's a little bright. Uh, Maybe you can able to close the okay. blinds and turn on the light, or is the light in the, the well, dining have... table open? Okay, I'm just... I still got daylight over there, huh? I don't Dark know over here. <laughs> turn up my audio without leaving that. That's in Canada, right? Well, so... it's kind of, it's still daylight, but it's getting there where it's eventually going to sunset. Okay. So it's kind of like in between. Okay. Um, so it's so, uh it's like y'all like an hour behind us, right? Um, I'm mm. not really sure if it's an hour behind. Canada, I think, because we is over here. It's now seven. What is it over there? Um, uh, on my computer it says five five oh three. So oh, maybe yeah, two hours. Like two hours. So huh? where? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No wonder you still got daylight over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, most likely, I think our time is. Mountain Standard Time, I believe. Okay. So, so yeah, most likely two hours. Okay, two gotcha. Hour okay, um, I'm going to quickly just rejoin just to turn up the audio because I can't. Can you hear us? It's a little bit. I can hear you guys, but it's low. Um, it's low. You might want to turn up the uh, laptop audio. Maybe that's the problem, Mira. Okay. Because normally I'm I have, have all my like devices on rejoin me. because I can't access that since it's a big screen. Well, go oh, ahead. Why no, you got to? Oh, actually, do you don't have to do that. You just click on options, you right, and then just click uh, exit full screen. So. Oh. Now that makes more sense. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> right, we glad some people know that got the tech technology thing. <laughs> mhm. Mm <laughs> I know, I don't go. see you on here. Yeah, trying to get on. It's important you be on. All right, so while we're waiting on uh, Lionel to get himself on here, I'm going to go on. For those, we want to welcome everyone to the Royal Rulers in Training when every Wednesday and Thursday nights, except for you know, when it's time for us to be with our families on the holidays, okay? <laughs> and um, thank you for being here. And here is the Zoom number if you ever want to get on. Um, 634-061-7114. And the code is... Oh, this picture is... The code is... Here, come on now. 
708-749 is the code. All right. I usually put up a link with the events or on Facebook when I'm getting ready to start. I put the link up so you can just hit the link and come on in. So we're training for rain in here. And uh, we've been learning about our senses, how to use and the use and exercise in it. All right, wait a minute. Come on, thing, move. Oh, there we go. So please take notes. Um, this couple of sessions, Wednesday and Thursday night tonight, we're going to be asking you some questions. So whatever the Holy Spirit highlights in your spirit, write down. If you have questions, write down. Um, when you take notes, because I'm going to be asking some questions too about some of the stuff we already learned. And so everything that you learn here, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, talk about Jesus, or seen in me, Jesus, put into practice. So that's the use and exercise of what we learn. And the God of peace will be with you, Philippians 4, 9. So I hope y'all got your, your Bibles because I'm going to turn to a couple of pages so that y'all can see in the Bible where people were using their their uh, spiritual senses in the spirit realm, all right? So pay close attention and take notes, all right? We are in our fourth week of training and developing our spiritual senses, okay? So if you don't, I used to hear the saying when we used to uh, try to lose weight, exercise and stuff. So if you don't, you don't, um, they said you don't move it, you're gonna lose it, or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Same thing with our spiritual um, senses. If we don't exercise them, they become idols to us. So you don't get to use them. So we're training your senses or our senses. And as you see below that picture is, um, Hands, eyes, nose, tongue, tongue, mouth, whatever, ear. The spiritual senses, what we're going to share tonight is you're going to see them in the, um, the Bible too, okay? So we said spiritual senses. We have our physical senses and we have spiritual senses, all right? All right, now can you read the scripture? Yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> What, what what scripture is it? Can you see it? Hebrew 5, 12, okay. 14. Oh, wow. Uh, for those who are thought by, by, by. The, but thought by, though by this time, you ought to be teachers. You need someone to teach you again. The first principles of the or oracles. oracles of God, and you have come to need milk not solid food 13 for everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the world of righteousness for he is a babe 14 but solid food belongs to those who are full age that is those by reason of use have their senses carries exercise exercise to discern both good and evil awesome yes awesome all right and i said about that good and evil because we we don't we don't live by the knowledge of good and evil we live by the knowledge of god okay but since uh we in this world you need to discern the good and the evil okay <laughs> because of what happened in the garden all right let's move on so we'll do that say uh you you uh you lego b <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah yes go ahead and read it for me babe okay train your spiritual senses god okay. spirit, god spiritual nature yeah. Natural, supernatural, supernatural. Pre present season two. All right, ep ep episode four of four. All right, that's just a. Uh, uh, I seen that sign. I said that's perfect, but I didn't mean to have the bottom part there. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't really want to make this move. 
No, just leave it in the microwave. All right. All right. So we're training your spiritual senses. Training. Okay. Not you're not your physical senses. What we saw the hand, nose, but the spiritual senses where you discern things in the spirit realm. So tonight we're gonna have some testimony time. Anybody uh didn't these uh looking in the souls of people uh through the eyes? Anybody look, anybody smile, which breaks down walls. Anybody uh when you look in the soul of people, that's where you discern. This is how you discern, because um, those are the windows of their soul when you look in the eyes of people. Remember, I said we look people in the eye. Don't look your head, your head down. Look people in the eye so you can discern what's going on around you or with people. And, and the, uh, I put downloading because when you discern, you get download from God. When you look people in the eye, you discern it. And it ain't always going to be, it ain't, it will not be <laughs> always bad uh, when you discern, okay? Okay? So we're not really looking for that, but if you see it, you know, we discern, like what the scripture says, that we would be able to discern good and evil, okay, or bad. So now these signs right here, can you read that for me, Kiana? Uh Penny Swirl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there are the ones with the, the arrows, right? Right. Uh, okay, so I'm I'm gonna try to pronounce these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll... In interactive, right? Particip participatory. Right. Okay. Engaging and involving. Right. So oh, that's what <laughs> that was you did pretty good. I, I, I'm <laughs> telling you, you did really good. Awesome. So uh training we're, we're in training. So in training, these are the things you have to, to do to get to use and exercise your uh your senses. You need to interact, you need to participate. I'd rather say participate, but participatory, right? <laughs> engage. You have to engage with one another so that we can you know, help each other in um, exercising our, our uh, senses and then involving, okay, involving. So in your testimony time, you know, share what you down, what was downloaded when you said, when you look somebody in the window of their souls or their eye, with their eye, with their eyes, your eyes, and what happened when you smiled at somebody and what happened when you said hi? Because that's what we did last week, right? That was what we did all week was saying. We did all three of them, what we call the tri triflecta. I think that's how I said, flecta, effecta, something like that. So, and we already discussed what tri means. So you're doing all three of them at the same time, looking in the soul, smiling, and saying hi, right? So that's part of the training that we've been going through. So we're in our fourth week. Now, look at these questions right here. Because I'm gonna ask you these questions again. So take notes, uh, what you hear, because that's why I put the questions up first, okay? <clears throat> we ain't gonna answer them now, but I want you to take notes of them. If you have to, write them down. You can write real quick, or you got, uh, what you call that, second hand? What you call that, shorthand writing? <laughs> uh, so take notes of what we learned for the past. I got the wrong four up there. Four weeks, supposed to be four weeks. Should I put it? All right. So here's the first question. What senses do we exercise in the following questions? We discern with spiritual. Huh? Spiritual senses. Yeah, that's what we discern with. Okay. Now remember what I'm teaching you, all right? Because they're all spiritual senses. All right. So we're not answering them now, but you can write them down. So when I do ask, you, you'll get it, okay? It's, it's more for you to learn tonight so you can really answer that. We break walls down with question mark. We up the ante with question mark. That means that you answer that after the question mark. And what is triflector, which I just told you. <laughs> and tonight, or tomorrow night, if I don't get it to it tonight, we're going to learn what disarm, what do we disarm people with? All right. Um, 
I just wrote these questions down real fast. That's why I got all these typos here. <laughs> like, I'll fix them about for tomorrow. Um, so these are some questions you might want to, if you got your phone, you just, what you call it? Screenshot it. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm going to ask you those later or t- uh, tomorrow, probably later on, because what I'm going to teach today is you already been through some of this already. So when we are exercising our spiritual senses, um, we awaken your spiritual senses. So the stuff that we've been doing for the last, shh, quiet down. The things that we've been doing for the last four weeks is uh, the way we've been awakening our spiritual senses. When you look people in the eyes, you could discern, which is called the window of their, the, the window of their souls. So you can discern what's going on in the spirit realm, even though they might say something with their mouth, but they're in the when you look in the eye, you can see what's really going on. All right. Um, and for example, somebody can be say, smile, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm good. But when you look them in the eye, you can see that something else is going on. Okay, because they can say one thing with their mouth, but when you look in the window of their soul, which is in the eyes. That, that tells you something else, okay? And you don't even have to say nothing at that time. It might not be time. So that's why you need to be um, uh, 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 alert to when the, the spirit will tell you when is the right time to do it. You might, it might be showing you, the spirit might be showing you something so that you can pray before it's time to talk about it, okay? All right, so taste and see. You want to read that for me, uh, Lego B? <laughs> Quiet, Sha. Okay, I'm, I'm not tired because I was chewing on something. Okay, taste and see, knowing God through spiritual senses. Awesome, awesome, thank you. You're welcome. See, that's when you taste and see and knowing God through spiritual senses that comes from exercising and use of your spiritual senses okay so that's what we've been doing for the last four weeks now this is the basics of it all right it's more to it but you got to start with the baby you got to start somewhere right <laughs> right um right now read the next one read where the strawberry at I know. To read what? See where the strawberry at? I need you to read that. Oh. The spiritual senses open to me, open me to the world, to the awake, aware, awareness of the divine world. Yes. Okay. That's it. You don't have to read the rest of that. But see, when you exercise in use of your uh, senses, your spiritual senses, it opens you up to the awareness of the divine world. And you saw with uh, Lego B read, he reads, when you taste and see this, you, you start knowing God through your spiritual senses. And the only way you can taste and see something, you got to taste it, right? I mean, you got you to gotta see it too. Right? <laughs> so you got to use your eyes to see, taste with, your, you know, by taking in and doing what you know, the knowledge that you got. That's how you taste it. All right. So the training methods and the techniques. Kiana, could you read those two on the other side? Right. Uh, Just wondering which ones is it? Which ones? I read the crayon, so read the other two. All right. So the one next to the crayon says five spiritual senses. And then the one with the rainbow eye is faith. Faith is making the invisible visible ah so that is so good thank y'all all for your reading um y'all doing so well with that appreciate that um so these are some of the training methods when they said training methods i like to say training mechanics of how it really works okay so faith is the making the invisible visible if we read hebrews one, it talks about faith is the evidence of things not seen, right? Let me look at that scripture because I will mess it up. Okay. 
Hello, Stephanie, Pastor Steph, Steph. Hey, how are you? All right, yourself. Good to see you. You too, babes. All right. So we on Hebrews 1, verse, uh, no, it's 11, y'all. See, I told you I messed it up. In Hebrews 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And what did that say again, um, Candy Swirl? With the eye at the rainbow eye. Ah, I was still mute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I clicked it with the pen. All right. Faith is making the invisible visible. Yes. Faith is making the invisible visible. And James, he says, show me your faith by your uh he said you show me your face and see i'm about to mess that one up too <laughs> james too he says he said i'll show you my faith by my works that's the last part i remember i don't even remember where james i know it's in james too when he says show me your faith without your works there you go show me your face without your works and i'll show you my faith by my works so you have to use and exercise your senses, okay? And you need to use faith to do that, okay? You have to believe what God's word says and apply the truth of his word, right? So let's move on to the next one. All right, move thing. <laughs> Come on, you. Uh, there you go. So here are a couple of things. Now, I hope you got your Bible. I did, I did mark my Bible, so I find these, uh, these verses here. Um, so the five spiritual senses. Now, as you can see this woman here, it says, has natural ear and a spiritual ear. And in Acts 26, if somebody want to look up some of these things, help me find it. Um, I got 26, Acts 26, verse 15. Now, let's listen and see about the spiritual uh, ears. It said 15, right? I said, and I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecute. So I'm going to read the one before that. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. And then 15 says, and I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecute. So you, can you see in that scripture how he heard in the spirit room? Because they were, had all fallen to the earth, and he heard a voice speak to him. In verse 14. I like right. how you brought that out, because I never knew they all fell. You know what I'm saying? I never right. realized they all fell. <laughs> right. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> yep, so Revelation 1, verse... Revelation 1, verse 10, is says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind a great voice as of a trumpet. So that's still in the uh, spiritual ears. So, you know, sometimes you can hear a voice speaking to you, all right? And that's why you got to know who the father's voice. He said, my sheep know of my voice. So that's why you got to know, read his word and pray and do all those things that we do so that you know the voice of God because there are other voices out here. So you got to know. So verse 10 says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice. Let me see verse nine. Got to read this in context. Um, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the aisles that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimonies of Jesus Christ. Then he says, verse 10, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Now today, when I hear a voice, 
you know, I, I, I might say I'm, I turn around and look, ain't nobody in the room but me, right? But I hear God speaking to me. That's how those books got written. That's my first book got written like that because I was fixing some um, some uh, papers for the kids to uh, train them on the kingdom. And and I was, getting, you know, typing it, not typing it, um, printing it on the printer and getting stuff written where they had to write on the line, the answer and stuff. And then I heard this voice. And the voice says, that is the curriculum. And I, t- I ignored it the first time. Then I, the next week, I got some more paper getting and said, that is the curriculum. Okay. <laughs> so that's how my first book got written. I'm like, oh, okay, Lord, I was already writing a book. And, you know, you don't argue with him. You just, he said, that's the curriculum. So I just started writing the curriculum. And so it was the voice that spoke to me that let me know that was the father's voice telling me that was the curriculum. Okay. And that's the spiritual ear that I heard, you know, in the spirit room. I heard him saying, that's the book. All right. Um, so that's uh, the ear. Let's look at the sight. Second Kings 6. Anybody help me yet? <laughs> I, I got that. Okay. <laughs> Second Kings. I put It was Kings up there. And I looked at first King. I said, no, that ain't it. So I looked up Second Kings. And I said, oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It said, um, 16 said, don't be afraid. Elisha told him, for there are more on our side than on theirs. 17, then Elisha prayed, oh, Lord, open his eyes and let him see. The Lord opened the young man's eyes, and when he looked up, he saw that the hillside around Elisha was filled with horses and chariots of fire. Yes, and that's talking about open up the eyes, open up your spiritual mind, so that you can see. He said what he said in the beginning, uh, Pastor, before he prayed that for him. Before he prayed, um, the um, servant. Elisha got up and you know that he could see everything but the young man couldn't that was with him and he said don't be afraid but there are more on our side than on theirs that is powerful right there and then when he prayed he opened his eyes and he saw that it was born on our side now (laughs) okay so that's what we talk about in the spiritual realm because when you look with the natural eye that's what the young man was doing he was looking with his natural eye and all he saw was it was they was going to get us they was going to defeat us but you know in the prayer and the spiritual eye you could see there's more of us than it is of them that's so powerful all right let's look at daniel 10 I just want y'all to see in the scriptures about how using the five spiritual senses, how they work. Daniel 10, 10. Read nine, though, if you get it before me. Daniel. I already had it. <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'll read. Um, well, Verse- you want me to read nine and then 10? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> then I heard the sounds of his words. And when I heard the sound of his words, I fell on my face in in a deep sleep with my face towards the ground. Then behold, a hand touched me and sent me unsteadily on my hands and knees. Wow. Wow. I don't know if y'all ever experienced it, but I have. And I didn't know what it was then, but as the more I grew in my, because I was a babe in Christ when that happened. But he said, touched him. So you could be touched in the spirit room too. Okay. <laughs> you could be touched. And I actually was was hugged. I actually was hugged. I was a babe in Christ. And one of my kids had ran away from home. And um, and you know, that messed me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that messed me. I was messed up. I didn't eat for as long as they were gone. And I was really messed up about that. So, uh, but I was alone in the room, laying across the bed, and I felt God hug me. So that's, that might sound like not, you know, real, but it was. And nobody can tell me no different. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go to Genesis 32 28. That should be easy to find, right? (laughs) (laughs) We're talking about touch here. Genesis 32, verse... 
I thought I was just, I ain't put that one away. Okay. I didn't do that one. All right. Verse 28. And that's said, I'm going to read 27. Go back a little bit. Where it, were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, am I on the right one? Yep. Lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hands is high, and the Lord had not done all, all this. Verse 28 For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. This is about touch, right? Am I right, reading this right? Genesis, I'm in the wrong one. That don't make no sense. Okay, Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis, I was in Deuteronomy, y'all, believe it. Okay. <laughs> I believe I'm in Genesis 32. Yeah, you, yeah, you got it? I, and I see yeah, I got it as well. Read 27 first. Okay. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, the name shall be no more Jacob, but Israel. For the prince has now power with God and men, and has prevailed. Awesome, awesome. But I think 26 probably was it. Mm. Because he touched, I think he touched him in the thigh or something like that. Yeah, 25. Okay. Thank you. All right. Verse 25. You, you're still in the same place. Just go to verse 25. Okay. Is it the one where he wrestled the angel, right? Yeah. Okay. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh out of a joint as he wrestled him. With, I mean, with him. Okay, so what was that a natural touch or was that a spiritual? That's a little catchy one right there. Spiritual. <laughs> Sounded like a spiritual one. Sounds spiritual and natural. Because hmm. he touched his thigh. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And he was with an angel, right? It was yeah. an angel. So Jacob was, at verse 24, Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. So that's that one little tricky one right there, ain't it? <laughs> okay. See, I would say spiritual too. But uh, yeah, I, I think it was a little bit both. If you ask me. Mm. All right, the last one, Hebrews 5. Now, we should know that one, right? We've been, we done read that already. But let's look at it. Hebrews 5, verse, let's read up. Let's read up to 13 or 12. Whoever has it, read, start at 12. Even though we read it already, let's read it again because we're talking about what? The nose. Hebrews 5, verse 13. I got it if you don't. <laughs> Hebrews 5, verse 12. I mean, for when, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God and are because such as, as have need of milk and not of strong meat. 13, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. 14, but strong meat belongeth to them that are full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So that's talking about the nose. Uh, that one I don't get about the news, okay? <laughs> okay, I really don't. I don't know if y'all do. Somebody tell me if you do, okay? <laughs> um, when I kind of get by the nose with the spiritual sense, okay, you you sense a like like a nice smell, but it's not coming from your house or anybody or no one's house. It is like you 
it's mounted in the spiritual realm. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I can go with that. I have to go with that because I'm always smelling food around here early in the morning, thinking somebody in here cooking. And I, I and and when I get up, I'm like, Ain't nobody in here cooking. I'm like, <laughs> but it's somebody in the neighborhood cooking uh, for their kids. But uh, so, but the strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. So only thing I could think about. Can you think of anything, Pastor uh, Stephanie? How that could be the nose. We need another scripture on that one. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do John 12, 49. That's the last one. That's the mouth. Because I was looking on this picture. I said, wait a minute. I see ears, eyes, nose, and mouth. Oh, here's one. for. I don't have the scripture, but I know y'all probably heard this about the nose. How when the people of God pray that they're their prayers are like um, aroma of incense or something that goes up to God. Have you ever heard that one? The prayers of the saints. Let me speak that into Google. You know, Google is past okay. I believe I found the John Frey and Freddie. Wait, okay. I mean, John hold, okay, hold okay. on one minute. I just want to okay. I want to clear this nose thing up. Okay, yeah, that's bothering me. <laughs> yeah, because just rereading the Hebrews there, I don't hear mm. anything that has to do with smell unless can you smell milk or something? I don't know. I don't know. Does yeah. milk have smell? Probably, well, I, you know what? You probably could because of the way a person that's a babe, if they're they're not using their senses, that's good right there. That's good thinking right there. Yeah. That's thinking outside the box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold yeah, on. Because I was just thinking, like, well, it's talking about food, and I know you can smell some food, especially like maybe meat or. And then I, I thought of milk, like, wait, right? You can, you can smell milk. <laughs> there you go. You can. You can. And like, I, like that's real good, right there. Thank you for clearing that up. Let me share mm. this one too. A prayer that goes up like incense to the Lord. Okay, here it goes. Psalms one. 41 verse 2. Hold hold on to that verse you got, um, Lego. I'm going to go to Psalms 141 verse 2. All right, Psalms 141. I'm in Psalms 41. It's closer to the back. Verse 2. It said, let me see, should I start at 2? Okay. Let um, me start at one. Lord, I cry unto thee. Make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayers be set forth before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. All right. I think it's another one, but that's that's pretty close about our prayers be going up to God in the aroma of the uh, incense that they burn, like when people burn incense. When you're pray in your prayers, God hears your prayers. The prayers of the righteous. All right, so John twelve forty nine. Let's do the mouth thing. Okay. And Jesus said, "For judgment, I am come into this world that they which the rich see, and not might see, and that they." Which see might be made blind. You and John. 12? Yes, Is it John 12 here? Oh, Patsy said John 30. <laughs> no, oh. John 12, verse 49. Yeah, you know John 12, you're right. Okay. It's all right. At least I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he, he's not in like in the book where it's like not the book. <laughs> at least right. he's in the right book. Right. Wrong yeah. chapter. <laughs> mm. Let's hope my Bible's right now. I'm not glitched right now. Well, if you're having trouble, I, I have it also too. Okay. You get it? Chapter 12? Yeah, already at the... I got chapter 12. 
Verse 49. Okay. That would have to be all the way at the end, Yura. I'm at John 12, and I see verse 39. 49? 49, oh. Yura. 49. <laughs> you gotta go all the way down. <laughs> oh. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which, which sent me, I gave me a com commandment what I should do say and what i should speak yes yes so that is the spiritual part of our mouth that what we should say do and what we should speak and so we have to be a, a sensitive to the spirit as we is uh, exercise and use of uh, the senses of our spirit room, the spirit realm let me go to the next one and we said discernment is the quality of being able to grasp and comprehend what is obscure. Anybody remember what obscure mean? Um, obscure, I believe that's unclear, meaning unclear. Yes, that's unclear or hidden. Yeah. You can't see it. So you, you discern, when you look in people's eyes, you're discerning in through the, um, the, the window of their soul uh, what's going on, okay? Sometimes you can't put your finger on it, but you know there's something there. And the spirit will probably make it clear later. But sometimes you can, you can sense in your spirit there's something there. Um, so we got to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to be angry. So if you're quick to hear, then you know, you can hear when the spirit of God is speaking. So when you only say what the father says, you can hear the spirit of God speaking to you what to say. All right, or what to do. All right, so silence. I had to get this because I shared that with y'all. Said, okay, you see the you see the hand that says listen. Listen is the same letters uh, of silent. That's uh, they got silence, but silent with the T without the C E at the end is um, you have to be silent to hear the spirit of God. So that means you have to practice. You know, being quick to um, hear, quick to listen, quick to slow to speak so that you can hear. All right. Um, I used to see this lady do this all the time. I didn't know that's what she was doing until I started learning about this verse here. I said, okay, that's what I was wondering why she was being kind of slow to say stuff. She was listening to the spirit. You know, when Jesus. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard that story when Jesus was in, on, and when they brought the lady saying that she was adulterous and Jesus, and they was accusing her and Jesus stepped, stooped down and wrote in the sand, okay? He was writing on the ground. I don't know if it was sand or not, but he was writing on the ground and it was like he was listening for the spirit before he spoke. Y'all get, get that? You with me, Lonnie? You kind of quiet. <clears throat> so silence he talking too loud <laughs> he's going to be all of my recording <laughs> so we got to pay attention and take notes all right I'm going to have to run through this for a minute here because so silence read that key on please silence Okay, silence is a source of great strength. Yeah, the reason why, because in the spirit room, the spirit tells you, spirit might say, don't say nothing. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, and read the other side over here for me, Kiana. Okay, let's take a look at the benefits of silence. Concentration. Creativity and awareness. <laughs> right. So we saw that earlier about our being aware of our spiritual senses. A lot of people are not even aware of it. You know, some people might be uh, uh, experiencing it, but don't know what it is. You know, I did that for many years. I didn't know what it was. So we got to learn to be silent. And sometimes it's better to just remain silent and smile. Okay. 
Okay. See those signs of being silent? <laughs> Perfect, right there. Sometimes you just be, because sometimes when I'm quiet, a lot of people say, you kind of quiet, what you doing over there? And I'll be like, I'm observing. That's how you observe, too. You observe what's going on around you. You ain't got to be saying nothing and be the spotlight in the middle of everybody else. Observe what's really going on. So let me get past that for a minute here. Observation. Here we go. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> so you got to observe. So when you're being quiet, you observe. What's going on in, in this atmosphere? You know? What's going on in this atmosphere? What's going on with certain certain person or something like that? Just be quiet and listen. And so we already talked about looking in the eyes. We talked about smiling. When we're looking in the eyes, what we're doing? Because this is some of the questions we got. When you look in the eyes, we're discerning the soul. The uh, when you, when you when you look in the eyes, that's the discerning. When you look in the uh, what did I say? The window of their soul. You're discerning. Okay. Um, when you smile, it's breaking down walls. Okay. Well, we already discussed how smile breaks down walls. I'm not going to go into all that tonight. And, um, you know, we're going to turn them frowns upside down. <laughs> all right. And this is the, triflec the trifecta. And what we have been learning for the last three weeks is look into the soul, smile that breaks down walls. When you look in the soul, there's a discernment. You'll discern what's going on, really going on with a person. And, and you don't got to say nothing all the time either. Just discern. Maybe you whatever you discern, if it's not good, you should pray for that person in the spirit realm, okay? You don't got to say anything. Not unless the spirit tell you to, okay? We only say, we only speak when our fathers say speak, right? And then hi. That's what I've been practicing all day because I've been doing a lot of uh, running errands. So I go in the store, I, say, I, I look people and I say, hello, how you doing? And smile, you know, all that went together. I didn't even realize, you know, what uh, order it was, okay? <laughs> they just all there, the, the trifecta, okay? <laughs> all right, so consciously live from the reality of God in you. So once you keep practicing this every time you go out or every time or with each other, all right, training to merge, you're training to merge your senses, your eyes, your mouth, and your words. They all go together. It's like riding a bicycle, you know? Once you know how to ride a bicycle, you know, you ain't been on there about five years, so get back on there and it's like you ain't never, you never, you never lost it, <laughs> okay? So you keep doing this every day it's a lifestyle that's what i'm trying to say it's a lifestyle train yourself for appropriate for approaching people all right if you got a frown do you think somebody want to come towards you <laughs> okay i don't think so okay so be training your mind to come into alignment with the mind of christ and that's what we, we're going to talk about that tomorrow so i did get to where i need to get to today um there was one thing I wanted to say. Was it on here or did I pass it? Okay. I think I passed. Oh, it's not on here. About us training our senses. If you don't train them and you don't use them or exercise them, they. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> if you don't train or uh, uh, exercise your, your, uh, your senses, you, uh, they become idols to you. You know, they're just there. All right. So that's what we have for tonight. Come back tomorrow and we're going to learn about part four of the week four is what comp, how powerful compliments are. So we'll come back tomorrow. All right. It's 7.50 now. So, so far, tell me what you got. Uh, what this would have to do with uh, the questions that you wanted us to take note sure. of? Sure, you can use them too. Uh huh. Yeah, we got to keep, got to keep going at it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, trying to <laughs> taking pictures of this. It's really, it's really weird. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm just looking at one of the questions to see which one. Ah, no, don't do that to me. Okay, I have to look at it like so crooked. Like, oh, it's got a crooked. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's like really crooked. Okay. All right, so one one of the ones that I can able to say is um, so when we break down walls with, usually I I believe we end up breaking walls down with our our smile. Yes, due perfect. to the fact where. Um, because when you end up lo looking more warm and inviting, I would say, yes, it would most likely get the get the person to feel a little bit more. I guess you could say comfortable. Yes. Yeah, it would be more more comfortable, and then they would probably be, would be open to be like, okay, hi. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then that's breaking down the walls. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's uh, really good. I'm just wondering if I should pull up another one. I'm trying to see which ones would be. And then I guess you you or I already said that we end up discerning with our naturals, not uh, not natural spirits, but the rather uh, the spirit spiritual <laughs> natural spirits. Senses. Your senses. <laughs> yeah. How am I going with natural spirits? <laughs> <laughs> because it comes after after a while, it becomes spiritually natural. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I, I guess i'm just gonna say that okay that's awesome right there that's awesome because that's mm. that's this is just the reason why we're here to get the knowledge understand what the knowledge is and then apply the knowledge to so anybody got any testimonies of you know doing this this week okay so what i can end up bringing up was this halloween we decided, well, mom gave us an idea to uh, hand out the uh, candy bags to some of the trick-or-treaters that come uh -huh. by our door. And normally we don't really, we didn't do that for the past years. Normally uh -huh. we just end up putting a sign saying like, hey, we don't have any candy and stuff. So normally we don't do that. But this year we decided, well, we'll just we'll give out some candy. Just, um, you know, see, uh, you know, you yeah. know, all of that with trick-or-treating. <laughs> Right. So we were most likely we're practicing. Uh, I get. I guess you could say look looking in the in the eye. Uh huh. <laughs> in the eye. <laughs> and then also uh, saying hello and well, speak, you know, talking just a little bit, like how's your day or have a uh -huh. good night. Kind of right. Okay. Awesome. Hmm. Awesome. Wait, it's coming off. All right. That's good. Thank you, Kiana. That's very good. What you get? Yep. Uh. Uh. Lego big. Right now, come on, you're supposed to give me your testimony. Come on, we at the end here. What are you doing? You okay. laughing at him? Okay. Mom was talking to me for a sec. But I didn't get, but I can tell you what I got before. It's not really part of the lesson, but it's it's part of the um the spirit. Like okay. some, like sometimes. I get a movie playing in my head without me um, doing it. Mm. Sometimes I just like sit somewhere and if I don't blink, some, sometimes I just get an image. And I'm almost doing that right now. Okay, so that's vis uh, those are like visions. Those are uh, visions. Those are visions. That's what Habakkuk 2 is. Talking about the visions that you get, even though you don't understand them, write them down. Okay. Put them in your journal. Because after a while, when you start looking at all the visions that he gives you, there'd be a nice puzzle right there put together, probably giving you a plan. Ah, okay, I will do that. Okay. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, uh, right now, you, you, you're busy running around with Lashad. Did you get anything? Um. Yeah, do yourself something actually. Okay, you want to go in and did you write it down? Mm -mm. All right, I come ahead and share. I just said what I want to say is God gave us a mindset of what these actions that we do. This that's why these actions that we do, that's why we have been put into the earth to do that. Is I need we should do these exact these actions and do it to what the cause He put us in this earth for. Okay, so did you practice any of this this week? Like looking at people in the eyes yeah, and, doing that, yes. and, and, and and smiling and saying hi? Yeah. Well, you always do that. 
How did you do it? Who did you do it to this week? I've been talking. I've been talking to Jaden, and like last time, I went outside in the morning. No, no, not in the morning, but like around nine. And I saw him walking to school, and I was like, "Hey!" And I was like, "And we way back, and then we had a little conversation." I was looking him in the eyes. Okay. Do you look the delivery man, and when you deliver the food? Oh yeah, I do. So you look at him, you smile at him, and you uh, say hi, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I see him do that all the time. He always, he's a people person. Okay. <laughs> all right. So uh, well, I had a, a, a little, it's, I don't know if I told y'all that. Did I tell y'all about my hat? I went out to the market and I had on this pink sparkling hat. It was a cap. And look, I'm out there supposed to be doing that to them, but the people taught it to me. <laughs> they be like, oh, I love your hat. <laughs> so and they be like, oh, I love your hat. So oh, thank you. <laughs> right. But I'm looking them in their eyes and smiling, you know, thank you very much. <laughs> and stuff like that. So sometimes it might reverse, but you know, uh, you know. When we smile, we look people in the eyes and we say hi, you're friendly, you're approachable. And um, and we're going to learn about how all this can come together, how this can also open doors for you to, to minister to people. OK, so come back tomorrow so we can learn that fourth part of 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 this training for our senses. And it has to do with compliments. So um, I'll give you that sneak peek. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but it's very powerful. So, that's all we have for tonight. And I hope y'all are getting something from this. And um, and I hope y'all y'all are using this in your your life. And you know, you you look your mom in the eye, you look your kids in the eye, look them in the eye too. I feel like look on the shot in the eye with all the screen. <laughs> And, and that's how you practice looking into people's the soul, the window of their soul. <clears throat> awesome. All right, so I'm done. Anybody want to pray us out? Anybody, everybody, hearts is clear. Anybody got anything else they want to say? Um, I'm all, I'm all clear. Same, I'm all clear. Okay, okay. You look sleepy, uh, <laughs> Lego B. <laughs> you sleepy? <laughs> no, I'm not sleepy. It just it's not. If it does look shady right here, it's not supposed to be shady. Just help us. Is. Okay. I yeah, have the lights on. The window again. It is okay. turning sunset now. I'm trying to, to go up the window. Okay. If I go here, it comes all shadows. Okay. Well, you know, I just want y'all to know that I, I got something out of both of y'all tonight when you were talking about the nose where the lady was at. I like the way Kiana had put. Um, you can smell milk when in that verse it was talking about babes with milk so you can discern people that are babes okay it's like you can smell milk the same way you can discern people that are babes in christ who don't use and exercise their uh their senses and the meat you can smell the meat with people who use and exercise their senses you can smell the difference he said, this person here, they use and exercise their, their senses. And then you could tell another person that comes and say that, well, they, this person here is still a babe in Christ. They still drinking milk. Y'all get that? So that's what I got from uh, Kiana. And when um, Uriah said what he said uh, about uh, how you can smell things, that kind of like, like, that opened the door right there for Kiana, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so so that you know because I, I couldn't figure out i'm like how did that got something to do with the senses of your nose but y'all y'all hit it right on y'all was teaching tonight <laughs> okay <laughs> i gotta take those from y'all okay. yeah most likely it's just about to pass by so <laughs> right anything that oh. pops up i'm speaking okay and also i forgot about this um how i know about the you know you can s smell in your spiritual senses mm -hmm. is mom because sometimes she can sense more. Does mom because she can sense more? Mm. Ooh, well, yeah, she can sense like well, pretty much she yeah, she can sense. 
<laughs> yeah, well, mom, since, you know, they used to think I had bionic ears. My sons, my children, they're like, what kind of ears she got? You can hear through walls and stuff. <laughs> 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 well, we can sense when something is dangerous or we try to warn you or we sense a lot of things as 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 mothers so mm -hmm. you're right so you're right <laughs> <laughs> all right let's pray out it's eight o'clock okay and i'm and also i just realized it's like spider spider senses ah that's a good one right there spider yeah, senses good one. that was very good there you go i told you he thinks right out of the box okay <laughs> <laughs> that's good thinking okay you gonna pray us out now? Hey, can't do you want? Are you gonna pray us out? Well, I was waiting unless the few you, you were gonna pray. Mm. If you want to pray out, I, I you can. Well, if you want to, you can go ahead. You, you can go ahead, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lord, for today. I just want to bless everyone in this class and. Uh, I just uh, pray that everyone in the having a good day, even though at my side, it's sunset. And I believe over in Miss Jackson's area, it's night, right? Yeah, right, so, right. Yeah, nighttime. <laughs> so again, I just want to bless everyone, make his face shine upon you, and just have a wonderful night. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So be it. Thank amen. you all for being here. So I'll Thank see y'all tomorrow. Right. right. All right. Good night, everybody. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. I have to get out of here again. <laughs> this might take a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. My own way. <laughs>